What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nikolai Espresso and welcome back to another video here today on the channel. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at the fourth of four maps in the map pack coming out this Tuesday. Sabotage releases for PlayStation 4 users come Tuesday and a month later for Xbox One and PC users. But in this one, we're going to be taking a look at Neon, the final map here on the agenda. Tomorrow, we have some zombies for you guys and then Tuesday, we jump right into the action. So this one, Neon, is a map that is incredibly unique in terms of how it feels, how it plays, and definitely something that I think you guys will enjoy. This is perhaps the only map that I didn't necessarily get a hold of the entirety of it. I just could not figure out for the life of me the best way to approach this all the time. I was too enamored with all the different cool aesthetics on it, the cars that regenerate for themselves and other things alike. And so it was kind of a flashy little map, some really cool things about it. I just personally could not get off a good gameplay in any of the gameplays that we've captured. So hopefully you guys bear with that as well. If you guys wanna check out any of the other maps that we've covered the past couple of days here, I'll put some cards and annotations on screen. You can check out each one as the video goes on. So make sure you click on those and see the other maps if you guys have not done so already. But Neon, let's talk a little bit about this one a little bit more in depth once again this is one of those ones that kind of feels like Tron I think that's really cool with how it was approached with this you'll notice as soon as you get into the game it is something that the map almost seems to generate itself and kind of create extensions of it it doesn't actually grow or get smaller but it creates the illusion of the map building on itself and maybe breaking down some different pieces as well the one very cool part I think is not only just the cars that regenerate and will seemingly generate out of midair but also so the death animation is probably one of my favorite death animations in any Call of Duty game or any game for that matter. Modern Warfare Remastered played around with the idea of a little bit of a special death animation as well where players would explode into presence if killed, but this one is a little bit different. This actually takes the approach once again of a more Tron-esque type thing where if you end up dying, you end up blowing up into a cluster of polygons. So that's definitely something very fun to play around with. It doesn't really showcase anything that is too realistic, but instead is just a more fun spirited way to animate the deaths of character models within the map and I think that's very cool it fits the features and the aesthetics of the map perfectly it definitely does go on that simulation type of feel where players build with the world around them and then decompose with the world around them as well all in all though even though it did have some very tough times getting some decent gameplays here for you guys and probably due to the players that I was playing against the entirety of the capture events this is definitely a map that I think you guys will enjoy there's a lot of different choke positions a lot of long range gunfights. So as we saw yesterday with Noir, this is definitely probably the opposite where assault rifles will definitely thrive as well. There's definitely some lines of sight that snipers can do well and SMGs probably weren't the best thing to choose in hindsight, but for the mobility and what I was trying to push with the hard point, it was something that that was my choice with this, but overall it is something that I think once again, long range gunfights definitely can thrive and probably will thrive at that. But this map is definitely more geared towards players of all different types of playstyles and not just necessarily close quarters, long range engagements and other things like that. It's something that everybody has their chance to thrive within this map and it's one that I think you guys definitely will enjoy. So that said, I'm gonna shut up now. I'm gonna let you guys see the rest of the gameplay in its entirety and edited raw footage for you guys so you can totally get your feel of what you can expect going into DLC 1 this coming Tuesday. So that said, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Drop your thoughts down in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of this map? Do you guys like it? Do you like its Tron type feeling where it regenerates the world by itself, where it's a little bit more of a simulation? What do you guys think of that? And of course, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything, not only Infinite Warfare DLC 1 related, and we've still got another day of that coming up. Zombies tomorrow we got some cool stuff on the table but also anything related to modern warfare remastered cod 2017 and black ops 3 got you covered here on the channel if you guys want to follow me over on twitter that is the best place to get connected with them here outside of youtube but practically live on twitter so that said if you want to strike up a conversation ask me a question whatever it may be that link is down there in the description below and finally if you guys want to check out any of the other videos that we've showcased here for the other new maps those links will be either on the cards that you can click on screen or there'll be annotations at the end screen of the video that you guys can check out and go from there so make sure you click on those to check more of those out. But I will see you guys later. Thank you dude so much for watching. My name is Nicole Espresso. Take care and peace. Hard point identified. Get a move on. <laughs> We've captured the hard point. <laughs> the enemy has the hard point. Let's go. 
torches. Enemy will be in your vicinity. Support is active. We've captured the hard point. Hard point contested. The enemy has the hard point. Enemy soldiers, take cover. Set. The enemy has the hard point. Get a move on. The enemy has 